Transistors are the backbone of electronics. They can be used as amplifiers or switches. Let's talk about the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. The name comes from how the transistor is structured. On top we have something metallic or metal-like in conduction. Below there is an insulating oxide layer. The bottom is made of the bulk of the semiconductor material. Field effect means that the transistor uses some kind of field for the operation. In case of the MOSFET, an electric field is used. Like for most transistors, there are two complementary types available. For the MOSFET, these are the N-channel and P-channel transistor. The current through a MOSFET flows between drain and source. The current flow can be controlled by the gate. Also the semiconductor material features a contact. As this makes up the bulk of the transistor, this terminal is called bulk. The symbol shows the three regions for drain, source and bulk. The gate is separated on top of these three regions to depict the oxide. To distinguish an N-channel from a P-channel transistor, the direction of the parasitic diode is given as a small arrow at the bulk contact. The behavior of a MOSFET is defined by a couple of currents and voltages. These are the gate source voltage VGS, the drain source voltage VDS and the drain current ID. The currents and voltages depend on each other in various ways. This is given by different characteristics of the transistor. They describe the behavior of the transistor from different perspectives. There are the input characteristic, the output characteristic and the transfer characteristic. In first approximation, the gate is insulated from the rest of the MOSFET. This means no current flows into the gate and given an input characteristic is not viable. The output characteristic shows the relation between the drain source voltage VDS and the drain current ID. Instead of a single line, there are a multitude of characteristics. Which one is active is determined by the gate source voltage VGS. The transfer characteristic links input and output of the transistor. It plots the gate source voltage VGS on the x-axis and the drain current ID on the y-axis. As we can see, there is no drain current if the gate source voltage is smaller than the threshold voltage VTH. A MOSFET can be operated in a couple of different modes. All of them can be identified in the output characteristic. There is the cutoff region where no current is flowing. The saturation region in which the transistor behaves like a current source. The ohmic region with its somewhat resistor-like behavior. As the transistor's behavior changes from one region of operation to the other, so do the formulas. In the saturation region, the transistor's operation can be described with this equation. K is the transistor parameter. It tells us how much current flows through our transistor at a certain voltage. VEA is the early voltage, which is a neat way to quantify the slope of the different lines in the saturation output characteristic. The fact that the drain current is a function of the gate source voltage makes saturation the main region of operation for analog circuits. In the ohmic region, the transistor's drain source voltage is small and the transistor behaves like a resistor. The ohmic region is the region of operation for which the transistor behaves like a closed switch. In the cutoff region, the transistor conducts almost no current and behaves like an open switch. This makes the ohmic and cutoff region the predominant regions of operation in digital circuits. 
As a short recap, please identify the different terminals of a MOSFET. Next, please label the different electrical quantities. And finally, please identify the transfer characteristic.